Hey guys, it's Lee, and today I am doing an unboxing and kind of a review, kind of setting it up and showing you how to use the Let Pot Smart Hydroponics Growing System. So before I open it up, I want to give you a little more information. This is the Let Pot LPH Senior Hydroponics Growing System. It's equipped with an app and Wi-Fi control. It has a 24 watt LED lighting system, a five and a half liter water tank, a pump system, and an automatic timer. Plants can grow 40% faster in the hydroponic system as opposed to soil. And it features a true 24 watt full spectrum LED lighting system. The lighting system has two different modes, one for fruits and one for vegetables, and it can help plants grow up to 40% faster than traditional methods. Another awesome feature is you can use it year round because you're using it indoors. The system features 12 planting cups, including sponges, baskets, covers, and the A and B nutrients. So you'll have everything you need to get started. The LED light is adjustable up to 19 and a half inches to accommodate plants at different growing stages. And the five and a half liter water tank allows for up to three weeks of growth without the need for watering. I do wanna let you know up front that Let Pot send this, sent this to me for free in exchange for this review and unboxing video. And let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. It says, great to meet you, Let Pot Senior Hydroponics Growing System. This is gonna be so amazing for growing herbs inside, or that's what I'm gonna use it for. Grow smarter, smarter, harvest better. Scan here for the app. There are some stickers. And this is what it looks like right out of the box. So I'm gonna go through the instructions and download the app and then I'll be back and we'll talk about it. All right, let's just go through the whole setup together. I think that would be nice. The light on that is making the whole room seem dark and I don't know how to fix that because my room isn't dark, all the lights are on. Um, anyway, so what I did before I turned on the camera is I pulled this up, I this is telescoping, and I took all of the tape off and I took all of these products out of the base and they were all in these paper bags, all the different items. So I'm gonna take this top off and there is the outlet for the pump that needs to be plugged into the back. Or the power cord for the pump it needs to be plugged into the back. And it beeped at me. <laughs> Next it says to fill the bottles of nutrients. There's A and B with filtered water what is it? What are they saying? Pure water and shake to mix. So you fill each of these with 100 milliliters of water. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So now it says to take 25 milliliters of A and B and mix it into five liters of water. I don't have something that will hold five liters of water. This holds two liters. So I'm going to do two liters and then two liters and one liter, but I'll mix it in with the first two liters, then you just pour it into the base. I'm going to move all this other stuff out of the way because I'm probably going to spill this. So here is two liters of water. This says it holds five liters or five and a half. So I need 25 ml of, this is a This is a 15 ml measurer. So there's 15. And 10. And then here's B and we need 15 and 10 of this as well. Now I'm gonna to try to pour this in without making a mess. Oh, I don't see that happening. Hold on, I'm gonna pour this in and I'll be right back. 
uh, I didn't read, but they're suggesting you pour the water in there, but since I'm just setting this up, I went ahead and just took this off. I also turned it off because as I was pouring the water in, the pump kicked in and it started spraying water. So we'll turn it back on in a minute. So next you take the white baskets, put the seed growing sponges in, add a couple of seeds, it says two to three seeds per basket. Then you cover it with the light blocking stickers. I guess that's what these are. Yep, those are light blocking stickers. And then one of these seed caps. I got these seeds at the Dollar Tree. Hopefully they work well. I'm gonna do three each of these. I'm gonna start with the thyme seeds. I'm gonna take a few seeds, put it, put them down into the growing sponge. Place a light blocking sticker and a cap over the top. And place it into the hydroponic system. Next, I'm gonna do the same with oregano, basil, and sage. All right, I decided to just do two of the sage and it does come with this little cover. So if you don't wanna use one of the pods, it actually comes with one, two, three, four, five, six of these little covers. So if you don't wanna use all of the compartments, you don't have to. Then the booklet says to adjust this to where it's four to five inches above the pods. And there, it's all planted. Now let's connect it to the app. I have downloaded the app and I need to add a device. You long press the Wi-Fi button. It's showing up here. I had to turn it back on. I don't know why I turned it off. Okay, you select your, there, sorry. I selected it and now it's initializing and connecting. Then I'm not gonna show this part, but you connect to your home internet as well. It's connecting to our home Wi-Fi. All right, so it connected. LED mode, I have vegetables and spices, so okay. Sorry. This is a 16 hour light. It says turn on at 7 a.m., turn off at 11 p.m. The pump switch is on. Planting days, we're at zero days, and it has an alert. There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this because I'm going to be moving it in just a few minutes. I'm not going to leave it here on my counter. But here's a little bit. It says most seeds can be grown and germinated using a hydroponic system as long as the plants are suitable for your current environment, temperature, and season. Some seeds will germinate in less than 24 hours. One may, some may take one to seven days. Um, by covering the seeds with the blackout stickers and using seedling covers, you can create a miniature daily greenhouse that helps plants germinate faster. Remove the cover when the plant has developed two to three small leaves. I realize this is a little backwards, but I forgot to show you these in the beginning. You put this on here so it lets you know how much water is in your hydroponic system, and then you can add water here as necessary. It also came with these support rods for your plants. And like I said before, six of these little covers and some little plant stakes so you can write what they are. Lucky for me, I have this video so I can look back and make sure what I have. It has two different lighting modes, the vegetable lighting mode and the flower lighting mode, which I think is really cool. It's Wi-Fi enable, enabled with the app. I said that. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, edit this video and get it up so that you can see the system and see if it's something you might be interested in. So make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Facebook. I will be posting weekly updates so that you can see how my plants are all growing. If you are interested in purchasing one of these Let Pot hydroponic growing systems, I will have two links down below. I will have, they're both affiliate links. One is the link directly to the Let Pot website and the other one is Amazon if you would prefer to make your purchase through Amazon. All right, I'm back and it's actually been seven days since I started this, since I planted everything. I think maybe it took a while because our house is cold. We keep it set at 65 degrees. So if you can see down in there, there are some little plants starting to come up. Let's check under here. 
Oh, well, let's see this. Oh, look, look at the little plants coming up. So I'm going to cover this back up, give it some more time. Some of them haven't started yet, like the sage hasn't started yet. Whoops. But I'm going to give them some more time. I did get these seeds at the Dollar Tree, so I'm hoping they all germinate. But I'm super happy with this. Hey guys, I'm back one more time. It has been 14 days since I started these seeds. Let's see what's happening here. Everything germinated and started growing except this one. So what I did today, and I don't know if you remember, if you remember, but I didn't plant anything here. I picked up some cilantro seeds at Dollar Tree. So I planted cilantro here and here, and I just did those, so they'll take a little while to germinate. But look at the sage. Look at all of this stuff. I am so happy with how it is turning out. Like I said, follow me over on Instagram and Facebook, and I will upload weekly videos so you can see how the plants are doing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.